So Jesse, tell me a little bit about Victory Mission. Springfield Victory Mission was started in 1976 uh, by an older couple that would come down to the tracks to serve the men and women uh, that were getting off the train sandwiches. Uh, it has grown into really about five campuses now. Um, six years ago, we just decided to change format. Instead of being more of a mission, we decided to go to more of the educational side of things. What we've learned is that men could get a job but they couldn't keep a job so even though we teach them the life skills we of course being a christian organization we teach them about jesus and discipleship there still wasn't that commitment there wasn't um, anyone there to show them that when you're met with adversity when a boss would tell you you're doing something wrong uh, to not just quit and not to stick in there so we went to an educational format to really teach these guys how to earn a living and be a productive citizen in our society. That's excellent. I know we just had lunch down at the uh, Cook's Kettle. Tell me a little bit about that. The Cook's Kettle, uh, you're looking at the highest tier of our educational program. Our Victory Trade School, uh, the culinary, um, maybe it's called Victory Trade School Hospitality, I think is what mm -hmm. they call it. Um, what they're doing there is we're teaching the guys the restaurant business, the culinary business, how to cook, uh, how to serve tables, how to manage a restaurant. As you know, being here in Springfield, um, we have more than enough restaurants here. Um, but to have really good employees, that's what we're trying to teach. So these guys are here for 12 months, a full year. They live here on campus just like they're going to school. But these guys, unlike everybody at Missouri State, and I'm one of them, they get up at 4 in the morning. And they start work uh, right then and there to get breakfast together. Uh, breakfast is at 6, and then they go and they serve lunch. The restaurant closes at 1 o'clock. It's completely student-operated here on Commercial Street. And then they start their classes. Classes till 5 or 6, they do their homework, and they do it again. Uh, for five days a week, they have that crazy schedule. And then on the weekends, um, we're not open to the public, but they don't shut down because we use our restaurant to feed uh, homeless men, women, and children uh, throughout the night. Um, so even through the weeknight, even though some of the guys have been up at 4 in the morning, they may be serving dinner to men at 6 uh, instead of getting to do their homework, which they'll do sometime that night. And the, and the name of the restaurant is Cook's Kettle. The Cook's Kettle, which is after the founders, the Cooks. Uh, oh. And uh, I can't remember their name offhand, Esther and, and something else. So, Cook. Yeah. And the, when they graduate, your students, when they graduate, it's not like they're going to work at a fast food restaurant. No, mm. some of our graduates uh, go down to Branson, uh, the Tower Club. It's really phenomenal, phenomenal to see some of these guys uh, and the positions that they get. Um, we've also worked with OTC uh, for the students to get 12 hours of college credit. So some of them even move on uh, to secondary education, which is really phenomenal for some of these guys that um, were drug addicts, yeah. um, that have maybe had 30 jobs in the past two years, yeah. uh, to really be committed to the, to the cause. And if I understand right, the school is being accredited or it is accredited? It is. We're working right now to be nationally Accredited. Wow. Right now, it's just with OTC. Wow. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about your job, your position, title, and what you do every day. Sure. I'm the public relations director. Um, I graduated Missouri State in 2003 and um, was kind of looking for a job for six months uh, before my friend who had the same position was leaving. And it just was a great transition. It really is who you know in a lot of cases. <laughs> um, I came in really not knowing uh, what a job was even after college. I didn't do any type of internship. I, I just knew uh, how to work like anyone else, worked at Six Flags in St. Louis, worked normal things. I knew how to work hard, but I didn't know how rounded you need to be in the workforce. So here in public relations, you would think I work mostly with media and, and the public and the community to, to mm -hmm. teach them about this. That's just a very small bit of what I'm, I'm do here. Um, I do all of their publications. Uh, I not only write, write them, um, I write letters for the executive director, but I also design them. 
I keep the website up to date, do the graphics for it, and write everything for the website with many other things. And uh, it's, it's really amazing. You don't think that you can get all that work done in a day, and you can't. Um, but uh, to really prioritize and get everything done. It was a rude awakening for me that they would expect all of these things to be done by one person. <laughs> um, but, but it's fantastic that they trust uh, someone enough to, to do all of those things. And that was exciting going into the workforce. So we trust you to handle this even though you have no experience in this. Don't let us down. Not a lot of personal assistance to de delegate things to, huh? Not at all. <laughs> Not a single person. <laughs> um, what was your degree in? My degree was in psychology. I had a minor in uh, criminology. Now, did you plan on getting into public relations upon graduation? You know, I didn't. I was really planning on possibly going to get my master's, uh, mm -hmm. maybe going to work in the FBI, mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, as with most people, kind of your past change. Yeah. Um, my father passed away right before I graduated. So I kind of had those six months before I got this job of, what am I going to do? I don't know what my future holds, you know, kind of turns your world upside down and ended up being right here in, in the place where, where I believe God wants me to be. Um, so someday I'd like to do do some of those things, possibly be a college professor or something someday, but, but right now I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. So you landed this job with a psychology degree. How much experience did you have, would you say, in the things you do day to day did you, how much did you have to learn on the job? I had to learn just about everything. Thank God for psychology, you write a lot of papers. And uh -huh. so writing was a big key to, to everything that I do. Writing is a big key to that. Everything else I could pretty much pick up. But if I didn't have the correct writing skills, and that's really what the executive director looked, like, looked at. He wanted to see uh, anything that I had written from college, um, if I did anything outside of college, if I wrote poetry or, or songs or, or anything, he wanted to see what kind of writing skills and, 